Shalom, welcome to the Sermon TV. We are going to share a divine revelation on two witness in Book of Revelation. According to Numbers 35 verse 30 Deuteronomy 17 verse 6. Whoever kills a person, the murderer shall be put to death on the testimony of witnesses. But one witness is not sufficient testimony against a person for the death penalty. Zechariah saw two olive trees in his dream, which God explained are the two anointed ones, who stand beside the Lord of the whole earth, Zechariah 4 verse 14. John show this will be fulfilled in the end time two witnesses of Revelation 11. In the book of Revelation, God says, and I will give power to my two witnesses, and they will prophesy 1,260 days, clothed in sackcloth, Revelation 11 verse 3. There is much speculation about who these two representatives of God will be and their three and a half year ministry. Let's see what the Bible, the only one true source of information on the subject, says about these special individuals. Who are the two witnesses? The explanation of the two witnesses that seems to best fit the scriptures is that they will be two humans who will prophesy in the spirit and the power of Elijah during the great tribulation and day of the Lord. They will come to warn the world to repent of breaking God's laws and will call for plagues as punishment for disobedience during the three and a half years of their preaching. Counterfeits of the two witnesses. The beast and false prophet. In the book of Revelation, God reveals a prophecy concerning two individuals called the beast and the false prophet, who will be opposed to the work of the two witnesses. The beast will be the civil leader who all people of the earth, except those faithful to God, will follow, Revelation 13 verse 8. The false prophet is the head of the religious system supporting the beast. One tool used to understand prophecy is the type-antitype principle. The account in Exodus 7 verses 10 to 12 provides a preview of things to come at the time of the two witnesses. It begins with the first of several encounters between Moses and Pharaoh. Under Moses' direction, Aaron threw down the rod and it became a snake. The magicians, the Apostle Paul identifies them as Jans and Jambers in 2 Timothy 3 verse 8, also did the same thing with their rods, Exodus 7 verses 11 to 12. Water was turned to blood, and the magicians did the same thing, verse 22. These miracles were performed in the presence of Pharaoh. During the Great Tribulation, the false prophet will also perform miracles. The coming of the lawless one is according to the working of Satan, with all power, signs, and lying wonders. 2 Thessalonians 2 verse 9 Speaking of this same person, Revelation 13 11, 13 to 14 says, then I saw another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb and spoke like a dragon. He performs great signs, so that he even makes fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men, an Elijah-like miracle. And he deceives those who dwell on the earth by those signs which he was granted to do in the sight of the beast. Satan will use the beast and the false prophet as counterfeits to the two witnesses. As a result, Satan will continue to deceive the whole world through signs and lying wonders, 2 Thessalonians 2 verse 9, and false religion, also see Matthew 24 verse 24, Revelation 12 verse 9. God does not want his followers to be deceived by these counterfeits. But most people will be deceived. The work of the two witnesses. The account in the book of Revelation gives clues about the work of the two witnesses, and if anyone wants to harm them, 
Fire proceeds from their mouth and devours their enemies. And if anyone wants to harm them, he must be killed in this manner. These have power to shut heaven, so that no rain falls in the days of their prophecy, and they have power over waters to turn them to blood, and to strike the earth with all plagues, as often as they desire. Revelation 11 verses 5 to 6 as these representatives of God witness to the world that all people need to repent of their sins, they will have access to God's Holy Spirit to produce miracles reminiscent of other prophets of God. Why will people rejoice over the deaths of the two witnesses? After the two witnesses complete their three and a half year ministry of preaching the gospel to the entire world, their divine protection will be removed and they will be killed. When they finish their testimony, the beast that ascends out of the bottomless pit will make war against them, overcome them, and kill them. And their dead bodies will lie in the street of the great city which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. Then those from the peoples, tribes, tongues, and nations will see their dead bodies three and a half days, and not allow their dead bodies to be put into graves. And those who dwell on the earth will rejoice over them, make merry, and send gifts to one another. Because these two prophets tormented those who dwell on the earth, Revelation 11 verses 7 to 10. Why will the world rejoice over their deaths? Most in the world will not like their message of repentance. People do not want to be told that what they are doing is wrong, that they are sinning and need to change. They will be angry because of the plagues being brought on them as punishments for not repenting of their sins, and they will blame the two witnesses for the torment so many will suffer. Thank you for joining in Sermon TV. We are encouraging you to watch another videos in our channel. For more information and videos on prophecies and Bible subscribe us and like share and give your opinion on comment box. God bless you. Shalom.